Hi guys, welcome to my coffee show. My name is Jack and today we're going to compare, as promised, everybody asked me about that, I don't know why, but everybody wants to see Niche against DF64. So that's what we're going to do today. I will put them uh, into the test. Uh, we're going to use uh, my decent uh, espresso machine, my new espresso machine. At the end of this video, I will try to answer the question. If you only want one, which one would be better for you? The coffee we're using today, it's, it's one of my favorite uh, coffee roasters. That's the Caravan Coffee Roaster. And this particular one, uh, obviously uh, naturally processed, my favorite. It should be kind of medium light uh, and the tasting notes, um, pineapple, grapefruit and vanilla ice cream. I mean, if, if I'm able to get all those uh, flavor notes, that should be a, a some, some, some really good espresso. On Descent, you, have, you can choose so many different recipes. And I've been, I've been playing with this machine for, for the last few days uh, and I discovered a few things, but my biggest discovery does, is that I, I, I know nothing. I know nothing about coffee. <laughs> I mean, uh, I thought I know a few things. No, I, I just barely scratched the surface. This machine proved that I know nothing, you know. So many nuances, so many things, so many things you can tweak to, to make the coffee either very good or very bad. Um, I will use a default uh, a profile today. So if you can see, uh, we will start with the, some pre-infusion, then we slowly ramp up the pressure to about, what, four bars. Then it will go straight to nine and then we will be slowly going down. The good thing, the very interesting thing about the, about the decent espresso is um, it can connect with the Bluetooth scale. So the shot will stop uh, either when the time runs out. So that's a 45 ish seconds or if the shot reach 36 grams of, of liquid. Uh, I won't change any other things because I don't know much about them, but uh, the shot will stop at 36. So we will use 18 grams of coffee. The temperature will be uh, 90 degrees. Uh, niche, uh, it's the grinder that pretty much everybody knows about. It's a conical uh, grinder with uh, 63 millimeter burrs. Uh, it's light. That's what I really like. Really nice finishes, wood, uh, aluminium, a little bit of plastic. Um, you can get it in two colors, black or white. Both look very good. Uh, the the um, footprint is small. Uh, the grinder RPM is about 330. The grinder, as I said, is light, weights a little bit over 4 kg. Out of the box, this, this grinder is pretty much ready to go. The one thing that I do recommend to buy, it's the blower. Well, this is a, a sucking cup from Amazon for a few pounds. Uh, so you use it at the end just to blow a few extra, uh, well, I wouldn't say grams, but a few extra bits of coffee uh, from, from the burrs. Nice dosing cup, everything looks, looks quality. Um, the F64 is a flat bear grinder, okay? Niche conical DF64 is flat. And for a long period of time before I got it, I was very much against DF64. As I always said that I, pre I, I wouldn't take this grinder even if someone offered it to me for free. Eventually I bought it and I changed my mind. I, I was wrong. This, this grinder is really good. This grinder is really good, uh, especially for the price. What you get is the grinder. You can choose so many different colors, but I went for this uh, matte black version. Uh, you got a grinder, you got that blower, so you don't have to get a blower. You don't have dosing cup that it is made out of plastic. Now I've, I've modified my grinder with a few extra bits. So there is a, that thing here that brings the dosing cup closer. To, 
to the shoot so that that uh, reduces the mess. Both grinders can be messy, especially on a higher settings, but uh, bringing this closer to the shoot reduces the mess. I got anti popcorning thing. Well, I not sure if you can see so that plastic ring around that helps to reduce the popcorning and i also got indicator everything here nicely written so you <laughs> you know exactly where you are you are in espresso range filter course and you can even calibrate the grinder i've never tried it but you can calibrate the grinder here so the only thing for this one you have to buy that blower for DF64, I would strongly recommend at least those uh, three uh, modes that I that I got. Uh, the grinder is faster. Uh, RPM is uh, 1350 ish if I remember correctly. It's heavier around uh, below 7 kg. I don't remember exactly. I think 6 point something below 7, but definitely heavier than the niche. Um, noise. You know what, when we grind, I will show you Then I, I prefer the noise of the niche, but it takes longer to grind. This one makes kind of a, 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 I would say less pleasant, less pleasant noise. For those who watched my other videos, I changed a little bit of the setup of my, of my coffee uh, well, studio bar, whatever. So normally I keep the La Pavoni on the other side, but because today's video is about uh, two grinders, so I put them side by side. So normally I can talk for hours, as you know. Uh, it's usually my videos take like uh, 70 minutes and then I have to cut it to, to make it like watchable for you guys. But as you can hear my voice, I'm losing my voice, I don't know why, so I <laughs> less talking and more coffee making. I, I, I think you agree with me. So 18 grams of coffee in, uh, 36 grams of coffee out, um, ideally in 40 45 seconds we will see how it, how it goes and then we test and i will choose together with you guys i will choose the winner so niche first as you can see 18.1 gram of coffee in coffee goes inside dozing cup underneath okay you turn it on on the side here df64 got the switch on on the, the bottom both uh the pros uh, pros and cons for both of those solutions i think i like the the switch on the niche a little bit more so time <laughs> so that's the noise okay around 15 seconds around 15 seconds to 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 grind that 18 grams of coffee so without using any blower or anything i'm already 17.9 grams and then if i use the blower it's difficult to do it with left hand Okay, and there is always a little bit of coffee in the shoot, so I like to do like so. And now we've got 18.1 precisely. The question, is niche zero really a zero retention? Uh, it's close, okay? Probably some of that is exchange, some of that, that sometimes there is a bigger retention. But day to day, I'm getting... Uh, I'm very close to to zero retention so if that's something that that matters to you 18 grams of coffee for df64 so this one you open that metal cup you drop the beans inside again i strongly recommend that thing that mode uh, 3d printed mode that brings the the coffee container to the shoot coffee cup to the shoot okay now i will try to so you see it's a bit louder and the loud and 
the noise is unpleasant. It's about 11, 12 seconds, okay? Then 12 seconds and now 18. So again, zero, both of them. I, let's, let's pull a shot from the niche first. So everything is ready. You see the profile, I press ready here. I press this button here and then I will show you from the, how the extraction looks like. So first it's warming up the water, preparing everything. And now well, the sound is not the best. But you get used to it. Hopefully I prepared the pack well, otherwise you will see some nice channeling. Okay, so far looks okay. Very nice extraction. I'm looking at the graphs, everything goes as it should. And it stops 36.6 in 41 seconds. The shot looks, well, the shot looks okay. Okay, I've seen better shots, but uh, my, my goal was 36 grams and I got it. You see the machine stopped itself. My goal was about 40, 41, 45 seconds and 41, that's, that works for me. Uh, I mean, if you have a decent, you know it already. If you don't, you probably don't care. Um, you can see how well the shot goes against how it should. So temperature, obviously it, it goes up and down, but the temperature, I don't worry that much. The pressure was exactly as I wanted to. The, the brown line above the water is the actually the flow of of, of espresso and it, to, to my eye it looks okay so let's taste the shot I got a spoon definitely nice chocolate which shouldn't be here because it wasn't even a tasting notes chocolate but kind of a sweet chocolate more almond than vanilla but you know, man. You know what? Let's say, let's say I can smell vanilla. <laughs> Not sure if I can, but let's say this is a vanilla. Okay. Grapefruit, definitely. Pineapple. Well, this is naturally processed coffee. There is a sweetness. Pineapple, maybe grapefruit, maybe very nice. So far, and I've tried. Trust me, I've wasted almost entire bag. So far, the best shot I had from uh, from Niche with this profile, with this coffee. So you can actually taste. Yesterday, everything was bitter. I don't know why. Um, I I was blaming myself, blaming coffee, blaming everything. I did the like, back flashing. I clean up everything. Today tastes much better. Maybe that yesterday wasn't my day for espresso sweetness, sourness, thanks God, there is no chocolate flavor. Very good, very good shot, very fresh, tasty shot. If, if I had it in, at the coffee place, I would be, I would be really happy. No, I, I like interesting coffees, you know, and this is definitely not a boring coffee. So I like, I like this shot. Let's, let's pull another one with, wow, boy. Now you have a you have a proper competition. You have to live up to expectations now. Okay, so the shot with descent, the same profile. I press ready. Looks okay, maybe a little bit faster. Should be about the same. Okay. 
okay very nice looking shot possibly a little bit better looking to to my eye 30 eight seconds so versus 41 so so it's almost the same so my my head is somewhere else today <laughs> i don't know why i i've done the shot that you could see uh, i tasted it I, I i was talking a lot i forgot to record it so i had to do this one more time but this time i changed the settings slightly so this is precisely 41 seconds exactly the same as the as the shot from the from the niche so we're comparing the same exactly the same shots exactly and with the decent you know that the shot is precisely the same because everything is the same well you, you can check so it smells like almonds i think i could say the vanilla as well but if i didn't read the notes on the paper i would say almonds The, you know what I, I i've been doing the coffee for a year now and it keeps surprising me I, it's not what i was expecting so i'm getting sweetness i'm getting grapefruit i'm even getting the pineapple vanilla not so much apart from the let's say the fragrance extremely good shot and i have to i have to tell you something and it's a it's a big surprise to me <laughs> they are both damn good and they are so similar wow i i cannot choose the winner today i mean when i tested that tasted that shot from niche it was like wow that's great then i've done the second shot from the df64 the one that i have i forgot to record the my conclusions and it was very good but it wasn't perfect now this shot, 41 seconds, just three seconds difference, it adds, it bring that up to the, <laughs> to the shot quality of the niche now. So they are so good, so good, both of them. I cannot choose a winner today. I cannot choose the winner based on the taste. Uh, my, from my experience, uh, and that's kind of obvious probably for you, I get, normally I get more clarity from DF64 and I've got more like rounded mixed flavors from uh, Niche but for today I get clarity and texture and Niche is usually better for texture but for today I get a clarity and texture in both of those cups. This is the first time I compare grinders using uh, uh, Decent so maybe the quality of the machine and the, the, the the settings and everything maybe that's also important and how many of you can can really compare two shots we can compare time and we can compare weight normally but with with those graphs i can compare more than that so those two shots i pull today are precisely the same i mean as close to each other as is possible obviously the algorithm might might not be 100 percent uh, accurate there might be a few like a 10 percent difference here and uh, let's forget about it those two shots i pull them exactly the same those two shots taste wonderful uh, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are both perfect <laughs> they, are, they are two perfect shots i cannot choose the winner mm, not not based on the taste for of today's shots normally i kind of prefer the the DF64 a little bit more because I get I'm getting more nuances in flavor. So I was a little bit biased, let's say, when I started that test. I I even chosen I've even chosen the, the coffee that is bright, so it would should should supposedly should shine a bit more on the DF64 and the niche. Wow, well, <laughs> stand up to stand stood up to the both both very good impossible impossible to uh, nah nah it's, it's impossible to say which one is better possibly a little bit more sweetness in this one possibly a little bit more of the that fruity flavors shut up scale so the answer to the question which one to choose if you only have space budget or willingness or whatever to buy one 
I, I cannot say which one. <laughs> uh, niche normally works better with... Ah, so niche works usually better with the kind of a medium medium dark roasted coffees. I don't really use dark roasts, so I cannot say, but uh, niche normally brings up that sweetness and chocolateness and nuttiness of the flavors. Uh, DF64 usually usually is about the clarity, but probably often less body. Not today. Today, th those two coffees were, were perfect. So uh, that I, I know I'm not helping you guys, but uh, that, that, well, I'm, I'm surprised myself, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's not like I'm making it up, you know, so uh, <laughs> I would like to say that this one is better, this one is better, for today they both perfect, but that's, I think that's a good, that's a good news for anybody who owns either one of them, and the one more thing, uh, well, two more things, first of all, if you, if you are here with me, that, I guess that means you like the video, so please click like and subscribe, uh, the second thing is that if you can, it's nice to have both because even though today where it was, I couldn't find much difference in those, those flavors, often there is, okay, uh, conical and uh, flat, they, they often sh are better for different type of coffees, maybe a different uh, profiles, so uh, ideally have both conical and flat and then you can kind of discover what you like what 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 are you looking for? unless you know if you like chocolatey then definitely this one okay if you like more fruity possibly this one today they both great uh in the next videos i i, I have so many ideas if i only had time guys uh, probably the next video will be quick one uh, i have a uh, few new gadgets that i would like to show you and and then uh, I want to compare all three grinders on the Eureka, Niche and the Solo. That can be interesting, more like a funny video, but it can be interesting. Uh, and then we will change the burrs. We have to change the burrs in, uh, in a Solo for the uh, SSP multi-purpose and that, that also, that's also coming. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jack, this is my coffee show. And hopefully, hopefully I will see you soon. Thank you very much. Bye.